Hello. Welcome back guys, my name is Om and this week I'm creating the black tears from the music video when the party's over. Now in the video she has black tears coming from her eyes but I'm going to switch it from coming out of my fingers. Just a lot easier when you're working on your own. To do this I've set up the liquid to flow from two straws onto my fingers by using water and a dye. But if you do this and use it for your eyes make sure you use a safe substance. You'll also need to test it before you actually start filming. Like here where I've had a lot of trial and errors. So off camera I've used a syringe to inject the straw with the liquid. What I need to do now is stay still as possible to emulate the change in perspective. You can move a little bit but don't move around too much. On the straws themselves I've placed two markers. These are called track markers and are actually going to help me remove the straws after. After I've got the shot of the water flowing down my hands, I'm going to take the same position as I did before and film it for a few seconds. This is called a clean plate. These are the two shots you'll need. We'll fire up After Effects. You can already start by placing your shot with a liquid into the new composition. With the layer selected, head over to the track windows. If you can't find it, then go up to the top of the menu, select windows. From there, you can find tracker. From the track window, you were going to click on the track motion. We also need to track position, the rotation and scale. This will give you two track points, which you're going to place on each marker. For better track result, you might want to increase the outer square a little bit. Once they sit in place, click on the Analyze Forward button. After Effects will now calculate the movement. Once the tracker is done, we're going to create a null object. This will add a new layer to your composition. A null object doesn't do anything hence the name, but we're going to use it to store the track data. So from the track window, click the edit target and make sure that the null is selected. After that, just press apply. If everything went well, the null object should now stick to the hand. Now let's bring the clean plate back into the composition. Look for a point in the footage where you're straight and right click on the clip and go to time and choose freeze frame. Next, go to the toolbox and take the pen tool. With this tool, we're going to draw a mask on your hand. Once this mask is completed, you can move the individual points to cover up the straws. On this now mask layer, hit the F key on your keyboard. It will open up the feather options for your mask. Increase it a little bit to soften the edges so the mask won't be visible. You can go ahead, reposition and scale the clip to make it align. Then the only thing left to do now is to take the pick whip tool next to the layer and drag it to the null object. By doing this, we can now connect the mask clip to the track data. And that's all it is. Thank you all so much for watching and the support. I hope this was a good one this week. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment and I'll see you next week.